time. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing great. The new update just dropped back again with an updated MP7 class setup. The MP7 is definitely making some storm in the COD community right now because a lot of pros are actually using this gun a lot more because it's got that great accuracy from long range. And it also has that really fast time to kill as well. It's right up there with the MP5. Now there could be a good debate between the two weapons, which one's better. I think I'm gonna give the slight edge to the MP5 because it takes less shots to kill from the same ranges but the mp7 does fire a lot faster and it is a laser beam from distance so that's why a lot of pro players are starting to use this weapon so yeah guys let's check out this mp7 aggressive class setup my first attachment is going to be that monolithic suppressor i absolutely love the monolithic suppressor it gives you sound suppression so your weapon is not heard or seen on the minimap or the compass when you're firing your weapon and it also does increase that damage range by about 10 percent it's not a lot but it is enough to get the job done that's why i like the monolithic suppressor then for the barrel i'm using the fss recon it's going to give us more damage range as well as more bullet velocity and even more recoil control even without this attachment the gun is still a laser beam moving on to the stock i'm running the no stock this is going to give us more movement speed as well as more aim down side speed now there is a con of recoil control but guess what man there literally is no recoil on the mp7 even from long range all right so next i'm running slide of hand this is completely optional this is just my personal preference because the mp7 reloads a bit slow and if you're playing really aggressive up close and personal you're more likely going to go up against multiple enemies at a time and you're going to find yourself needing to reload because the mp7 has a really high fire rate matter of fact it has the fastest fire rate in its smg class so having sleight of hand can definitely help you out in tight situations so for my next attachment i'm running the rear grip stippled grip tape this one is a no-brainer aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed are the pros definitely a must have for close quarter combat now as i was saying how the perk slide of hand was optional you could actually run either the 50 round or 60 round mags it doesn't really matter it being an smg you're not really going to feel that penalty in your movement speed or aim down side speed because smgs are naturally faster anyway that's about it for the class setup guys hope you guys enjoyed today's breakdown video if you guys want to see more breakdown videos let me know in the comments down below and leave a like on this video it lets me know that this is the content that you do want to see and if you're looking to improve and you want me to break down your video check out the link in the description it's going to be a gameplay submission form where you can sign up for it and show me your gameplay and i'm just looking for average gameplay from players who are honestly just trying to get better it allows me to give you some insight on what you can do to improve don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here join turbo nation today make it official we're almost at 85,000 subscribers i'd really appreciate it if you could join me for the journey and thank you all for the support and i'll see you guys in the video this is going to be a really fast gameplay so hopefully you guys can keep up so normally on shoot house i like to sprint towards this area of the map and i'm going to pre aim down this line of sight now i do see that there are multiple enemies coming after me so i'm going to wait up these stairs i'm going to pre-aim take him out and i'm going to throw my c4 just for extra measure just in case there's another one popping by so i did take out that guy as i peeked out the window now somebody else just threw a c4 right here i wasn't expecting that i'm going to wait for him to pop out i'm going to let the enemies come to me basically so this guy again pops out of the corner and there's actually a third guy there i could have taken him out i did see that i had 10 bullets left looking back in the gameplay oh now God. but you know unfortunately i uh missed my c4 toss so now i've got my uav i call it in for more information on the minimap i quickly bunny hop to the left to take him out and in that situation you may have missed it but this is a small minor detail that i always pay attention to is when i'm in any situation i'm always reading where my positioning is and where the enemy position is at if you know we're in a confrontational gunfight we both know that we see each other i'm looking at what tools that i have that i can use to my advantage so this right here is my advantage this little like cement wall right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly bunny hop to the left and i'm going to use this wall right here where the arrow is as cover to get ready for the next gunfight so that i can actually take out that guy as he's running along the corner so you're going to see that here i'm going to take him out and now i'm going to heal myself and I'm going to take him out with that hip fire. All right, so now we've got the UAV up. I'm waiting for the UAV sweep. I do see somebody here on the minimap, and I'm going to pre-aim accordingly. Now, in this situation, I do know exactly where the enemies are coming in from. Like I said, these guys are playing rather aggressive. So I'm going to pre-aim around this corner, and I'm going to take him out. 
Now, I'm noticing a pattern against these players that I'm playing against, and that's something that you guys need to also take note of, is how to read the enemy. If the enemies keep coming back to you and they're playing a certain way, just stay back, hang loose, and let them come to you. That's how you get kills the easiest against aggressive players. So the reason why I rotated on this area of the map is to get a different angle on the situation. As you can see, I did take out that guy by using that head glitch. So now I'm assessing the situation. I'm looking at that mini map. Now, as you can see, there's two red dots here. If I were to just go out there, play aggressive and rush and try to take both of them out, it's not going to do me any good because I'm going to get outgunned because I'm outnumbered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these people come to me. This is how they've been playing all game long. So I'm going to wait right here pre-aim take him out so now i'm gonna close that door now the reason why i closed that door is because i'm about to retreat you know i'm not gonna wait for this guy right here in this area because he might have some teammates with him so what that does is an audio cue that i can listen for if the door opens and i hear it that means that the enemies are here and i need to direct my attention to this immediate area but first i'm gonna rotate right here and i'm gonna prop up right here just to get a different angle on the situation because look at that mini map all my teammates are on the same side as me so that must mean that the enemies are here on this side so i'm going to quickly replenish my ammo now i'm going to hop up on top of here and i'm going to get a good angle take him out once again again i just need to stress this one more time how to read the enemy notice the patterns that was the second time that i killed the same guy in the same area so i'm just going to let him continue to come to me now we've got the VTOL jet. I actually do notice my teammate is engaging in a gunfight. So that must mean that there must be some enemies here. I mean, look at that triangle. Those lines outside of the triangle indicate that your teammate is engaging in a gunfight. So that's how I knew how to look in this area right here. And as you can see, he's still looking back to make sure where they're at. So what I do here in this situation is that if I know my teammates engaging in a gunfight over here, and I know that the enemies are going to be in this area most likely, because look at where my teammates are once again. So that's why I come up on this ledge for another head glitch to take a peek and get a different angle on what my teammate was looking at. So here we go. I'm going to let it play. And as you can see, there was somebody there and there were actually two enemies right there. So uh, I get taken out there. Unfortunately, you know, these things are going to happen because it's such a small map. It's very fast paced and you know players just move around the map really quickly so now i'm gonna call in my veto i'm gonna call it in directly on their spawn so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna try to go the opposite way that i would if i was the enemy i would go that way so now i'm gonna head into their spawn once again because i know that my veto is gonna be watching my back per se because i put it directly on top of their spawn and again look at where my teammates are on the mini map so that must mean that i am actually in deep enemy territory right now so I actually do hear some footsteps. That's why I go over here to investigate. I come out the window and I do see this guy right here. I take him out. But unfortunately, this guy actually beat me to the kill. So now I'm assessing the situation. Where are my teammates? So that's why I make the conscious decision to push towards this area. But I'm going to pre-aim first because I know there's most likely going to be enemies there, which there are. There are two. I take them out. So now I want to proceed with my plan and keep rotating around the map. I'm rotating around their spawn. Now we've got a good little flow going on here. And I'm going to jump around this corner and I'm going to pre-aim. So one thing I do want to note about this little move that you may have not even noticed, that's really a small minor detail, is notice how I jump around this corner instead of casually walking around. The reason why I did that is because, again, the probability that there's going to be enemies in this area is very high. Look at where my teammates are. I've got that VTOL up right there. So that must mean that there's going to be enemies over here trying to escape the situation. So that's why I popped out just like this immediately to not give these guys a chance to win this gunfight so i take him out and i also take out his teammate who just spawned in right there and now i'm on a good streak i've got my uav this is really good now we've got more information coming in that's why i like using the uav and now i'm about to go ahead and investigate the other side of the map which is going to be in this area right here so I know that this area is clear behind me. I've got some teammates here in the office and I do have some teammates in their spawn and my VTOL is up here. So if I was the enemy, I would definitely be in this area. So I'm going to pre-aim right here and I'm going to toss this C4 to beat this guy before he's even able to mantle on top of the head glitch. So now I'm going to further investigate once again in the junkyard because now my teammates have rotated. They're occupying that area and my VTOL is over here. I was just in this area. There's nothing and I do have some teammates in my spawn so that must mean that they must be either here or in the middle somewhere so i'm investigating i'm pre-aiming and i do come up on a kill right there on that guy he probably just spawned in right there so again 
I'm in this area now. There's no more teammates over here in their spawn, so they're spawning in over here, and I do see multiple enemies here. So I'm going to run away from the situation. I know I'm outnumbered. I'm going to quickly reload, and I'm going to pre-aim, and I'm going to let them come to me. I know that they're coming after me. They've been playing aggressive all game, and I'm looking at that minimap. I know there's one around the crate, and I actually did come up on another kill. Again, I'm looking at the minimap. There's three dots. They're coming after me. They know their teammates have died. So what I'm going to do instead of holding down this area is I'm going to go into the office and get a different angle i'm gonna attack them from the top so as i come up here i'm gonna pre-aim just to make sure and actually i was surprised that they actually came up here i was assuming that they were gonna be on the bottom of the office trying to run after me into my spawn so what i do is i'm like dude i gotta get the hell out of there look at my face and i do see one more guy here in our spawn he actually just took out our teammate so i figured it's actually safe to be able to engage with this guy because those guys are still stuck at the office and there's no way that they can come after me so i come up here for the good point of view so let me show you guys a little small minor detail once again is if you're trying to get an easy kill from a good vantage point in the junkyard standing on top of this car and pre-aiming down that line of sight is a good idea now we've got our advanced uav and another thing i do want to point out with that situation right there is to not aim down sights for too long because if you aim down sights for too long then there's a good chance you might get flanked again it's a really small map so another thing is when you have the advanced uav up it's never a surefire thing that you're going to win those gunfights as you can see right there and it was just unfortunate that i didn't kill that that guy i'm absolutely stunned i do see this guy right here i take him out i'm gonna throw the c4 on top of the wall but unfortunately he was running eod and hopped over the wall and that is the end of the match so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i was coming at you guys 100 miles an hour with a lot of information because it's a really small map and if you want to do well on small maps that are really fast paced and designed for aggressive gameplay uh, this is how you have to play you have to assess the situation and use information to your advantage so we finished off with 39 kills and six deaths one thing i also do want to announce is that i will be breaking down subscriber gameplay so so if you want me to personally give you guys some tips on your own gameplay there's a submission link in the description where you can submit your gameplays to me and i'm just looking for average gameplays you know from people who honestly want to improve and do better and this is good because i can offer you personalized tips for your own gameplay and play style for how you can personally improve so yeah guys drop a like on this video if you did enjoy and you want to see more gameplays like this so i know that this is the type of content that you want to see and subscribe if you around here so you can make your way back to the channel join turbo nation today make it official baby and i will see you guys in the next video peace